many of you are aware that this month is dedicated to celebrating women in science, right? Therefore, today I am going to share with you some unknown stories of women scientists. And I guess that uh, some of these stories will give you goosebumps. But uh, before we dive in, let me just uh, briefly discuss the reasons behind this celebration. As we all know that uh, 8th March is uh, recognized as International Women's Day and uh, it was on this day that the first International Women's Conference was also held in Denmark. Additionally, this uh, month marks the anniversary of the passing of uh, renowned gifted scientist Dr. Mary Curie. So whatever be the reason, I thought of making a video on this topic with two motivations in mind. First, I want to introduce you to some laser known women scientists whose contributions to science and technology are incredibly significant despite their lack of fame, their life stories and the obstacles they overcame to achieve their goals will surely motivate you. If you are struggling with your career, if things aren't going your way, this session will be helpful for you because you will realize how tough life really is. But still you can achieve success as long as you have strong belief in yourself. Secondly, I just want to point out that uh, knowing history is also beneficial for making progress in life. It's always a good idea to explore history first. You know what? Knowing history of science makes science more interesting. Isn't it so? Okay, so first let's uh, talk about Mileva Maric. Do you guys know who she is? There are very few people who know about her. On the contrary, if I mention her husband name now, it would be difficult to find hardly any educators in the field of science who do not know him. Albert Einstein. Yes, she was uh, Einstein's first wife. Mileva Maric was a Serbian physicist and mathematician who studied at the Zurich Polytechnic where she met Einstein. They got married in 1903. Throughout her academics, she was an exceptional brilliant student and had demonstrated her exceptional talent and dedication to her studies. She won several academic accolades and awards during her studies at the Zurich Polytechnic and was even recognized for her outstanding work in mathematics and physics. She also received the highest grades in her class on the final exams and this achievement earned her the prestigious Diploma of the Higher Education of Women from the University. It is being said that she has had a significant amount of contribution to Einstein's early work. There is even a story about when Einstein was uh, struggling with a particular class on mechanics and was having difficulties with the coursework. As we all know that uh, Einstein's academic background was not pleasing enough. It was Mileva who continuously helped him understanding the subject material by working through the problems with him day and night and explaining the concepts in a way that made sense to him. In fact, there is some uh, strong evidence to suggest that she has co-authored some of his famous papers such as Theory of Relativity, which made Einstein famous overnight. There is even a debate among historians and scientists that her contribution to Einstein was so significant that Einstein shared the Nobel Prize money with her even after their divorce. The fact that she didn't receive the same recognition as her ex-husband is truly unfortunate. We all know that Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins were the first three humans to step onto the surface of the moon, right? It was a game changer for human civilization, isn't it so? This event was a significant milestone for humankind, marking the fulfillment of long-standing dream of uh, several scientists who had dedicated their efforts and resources to this end. But do you know that this dream would have remained impossible without the intervention 
of the gifted scientist Margaret Hamilton. Our timely and decisive action ensured the proper functioning of the computer system, thereby enabling the successful execution of the mission. You can say that she played a crucial role in the success of the moon landing mission by leading the development of the software for the Apollo spacecraft. So what actually happened to that day? What happened to Apollo spacecraft during that mission? Well, the incident was something like this. As the spacecraft got closer and closer to the moon's surface, something unexpected occurred. The onboard guidance computer system encountered an error. The radar system began to receive and process an unusual high number of signals which in turn caused the computer to become overloaded and start issuing a series of alarms. Can you imagine that situation? Try to imagine that situation what the astronauts must have been feeling at that moment. It's really a nerve-wracking situation, isn't it, sir? Remember the time. It was 1969. Nowadays, we have access to incredibly sophisticated system that can handle vast amounts of data and perform lightning-fast computations. But back to those days, it was a different story indeed. Systems of that time were much slower and the computers were far less powerful. In the worst case scenario, the situations would have been that the spacecraft would have had to return to Earth without any humans actually landing on the moon. But due to the incredible skills and expertise of the pioneering computer scientist Margaret Hamilton, the mission control team were able to overcome these challenges and the rest is history. So what she basically did? Her software design played a crucial role in the mission's process. She had designed the software to be fault tolerant. It means that the software could detect and recover from errors when the guidance computer was becoming overloaded. During the descent to moon surface, Hamilton's software was able to step in and prioritize the most critical tasks that allowed the mission's control team to adjust the spacecraft trajectory and compensate for the error. It's incredible to think about the impact that Hamilton's work had on the success of the mission and the future of computer science as a whole. But wait, don't think she stopped here. After retiring from NASA, she founded her own company. Hamilton Technologies. She worked on a wide range of projects related to software development, educations and outreach. One of her most uh, notable contribution was the development of the universal system language, a software design language that uh, she developed in the early 90s. Universal Software Language or USL has been used in a variety of applications including telecommunication systems, medical devices and continues to be used today. In fact, a simple example of USL in action can be seen in the way that modern smartphones are designed. The software architecture that allows apps to run smoothly and interact with one another is based on the principles of USL only. Apart from that, it has a wide range of applications in the banking sector also. For instance, a bank has an interface that enables customers to access their account information and conduct transactions. It also has a database to store customer account details and transaction histories as well as modules for processing transactions, for example, withdrawals and deposits of money amounts and most importantly, a security module for authenticating users and safeguarding their account information. USL is a tool that has been specifically designed to manage these complex systems. Designers can utilize a series of USL diagrams and notations to define each of these modules, making it simple to comprehend the system structure and behavior as a whole. Despite being almost 90 years of old, she is still actively working on various projects. We hope that uh, she continues to enjoy good health and send her our best wishes. Now I am going to share with you another fascinating story about a remarkable woman who demonstrated 
exceptional talent throughout her academic career became a successful business tycoon in her middle age and is now a well-known philanthropist Stephanie Charlie's academic background was unique and played a significant role in shaping her career and entrepreneurial approach in the tech industry. Despite facing persecution by the Nazis during her early years, she proved to be a gifted student and earned a prestigious scholarship to study mathematics at the Imperial College of London. After completing her degree with a major in mathematics, She went on to join British Tabulating Machine Company which is famously known as BTM. Now in case you are not familiar with what BTM is about, let me just shed some light into it. British Tabulating Machine Company or BTM was one of the several companies or I would say one of the famous companies involved in the development of code breaking machines during the Second World War. It was BTM that played a crucial role in assisting Alan Turing and his team with their work on breaking the German Enigma code while working in this company Charlie began to develop her skills as a programmer and quickly became a key member of the team however very soon she also realized that there were quite limited opportunities for her career advancement and the lack of creative freedom that she experienced while working in the tech industry at that time determined to strike out on her own charlie founded an it company called freelance programmers in the early 60s with her strong academic background in mathematics and programming she had the technical skills and knowledge indeed to develop innovative software solutions for her clients from the very beginning her focus was on providing customized software solutions for the clients that eventually allowed her company to work with a diverse range of clients and establish a reputation for delivering high quality software her company grew very rapidly and within a few years it achieved the pinnacle of success becoming a multi billion dollar enterprise that turned her entire team members into overnight millionaires there was even a time when freelance programmers posed a significant challenge to international computers limited also known as icl was one of the largest and most prominent it companies in the uk during that period with revenues over 1 billion pound at its peak the two companies competed on equal footing and charlie's business strategies proved to be formidable player in the tech industry charlie's company was recently acquired by logica a multinational it company and since then she has devoted her time and resources to philanthropy she has generously donated a significant portion of her wealth towards causes that uh, benefit society particularly towards education for children with special needs we extend our heartfelt wishes for Shirley may she be blessed with excellent health and a longer life many are familiar with professor dr apj abdul kalam as india's missile man but few are may know of the country's missile woman is he thomas a pioneering indian scientist and missile engineer after completing her graduation in missiles engineering from pune she joined Defence Research and Development Organisation famously known as DRDO under the guidance of former India president APJ Abdul Kalam who 
who was the then director of DRDO during her time at the DRDO Thomas collaborated with Dr Kalam on a number of missile projects and she also has uh, cited him as one of her key mentor and source of inspiration Thomas has made significant contributions to missile technology particularly in the development of Agni missile series she is the first woman scientist to head a missile project in India and is known for her significant contribution to the development of Agni missile series now if you are unaware about the Agni missile series these are India's now if you are unaware about Agni missile series then i just want to let you know that these are india's most potent long range ballistic missiles these missiles are capable of delivering nuclear payloads and are capable of striking targets at a distance of up to several thousand kilometers away unbelievable isn't it sir this is important for both deterrence and defense purposes now you may ask that what does it mean by deterrence Well, deterrence is the ability to prevent an enemy from attacking by showing them that a powerful response is possible. Also, I would like to let you know that Agni missiles are so powerful that they can serve not only as an attacking weapon, but it can also be used to intercept incoming missiles and destroy them before they hit the target. Well, it is fair to say that India's development and deployment of Agni missiles. has contributed to enhancing its military power in the region this missile has successfully demonstrated india's technological capability as well as the ability to defend itself against potential threats currently dr tc thama serves as the director general of aeronautical system in the drdo which is responsible for the design and development of military aircraft helicopters and related systems for the indian armed forces let us hope that she achieves great success in her future projects and enjoys a long and healthy life